tell me what are you still with that crappy friend of yours what are you still hanging out with that person i know that might seem too ash or demeaning but i feel like we need to speak the truth welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Rhoda and happy new year i know i've been away for so long but i really do not want to start explaining myself right now but i'm sure that as we go into the video or other episodes you will be getting the reasons why i've been away so first and foremost guys um we will be talking about the most mis misunderstood phrase which is cutting off so i myself and you know a couple of other people we are guilty of making just of people who say oh i can't wait to cut off so 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 and so people in my life you know this new year or before the new year comes in they are like oh they are already announcing and people make just of them with what's like the owners of this year will still start cutting us off or come get your scissors and all of that but today i will be giving a, a clear definition of what that phrase means and at the end of today i hope that i'll be able to see it in the same light or if you have anything outside my opinion you're very much welcome so what does cutting off mean literally for me i would say cutting off is withdrawal or distancing yourself from some certain people and i put it to you that we all are guilty of this mm, but you say no right so tell me that friend that family member of yours that you've not spoken with or spoken to in two years what happened you literally cut that person off you distanced yourself from that person and i'm not here to actually point fingers or say oh um you're proud or why did you do that this that no because one cutting off people can be deliberate and not deliberate what i mean deliberate you you might do it purposefully like you you you, you think about it and say I'm not I'm literally done talking with Toby or I'm done talking with Rhoda or I can't keep up with Ronke anymore or I'm not deliberate means you know you just find yourself not talking anymore you just find out you guys are already like far apart not talking and stuff but one thing I really need you guys to understand is that cutting off people doesn't always come from a place of pride it can it's most times it comes from a place of change of levels guys levels change and i mean it levels change sometimes marriage comes in like you you were once very good friends and then one of you gets married that's a new level so you don't expect that person to still be you know talking to you as much as he or she did back then when you guys were all single right so marriage can cost that that's change of level another change of level can actually be financially back then you guys were both struggling you used to trek from one junction to another but now one person has a ride you know and the other person has gotten a very good job or the person um just relocates from you know a, from one certain place to another and then withdrawal just comes so you know when people cut you off i feel like you shouldn't always you shouldn't always be offended and say, oh, oh, because you now have a car, or because she now drives a car, or because she's now married, or this, that. Don't, don't always make you feel like, you know, they did it out of pride, right? Um, also, I feel like many times, people might actually not know that they did cut you off. It might be the other party that actually thinks that this person has cut me off. You know, sometimes people who are employed are so busy with life, you know, people are trying to juggle life, work, career, health and all of that. And they really do not have time for friendship as much as they used to do before. And then you on the other end, you just feel like, oh, this person cuts me off. That person who you think actually cuts you off might not even see it in that way. The person might just see it as, you know, a break. I think there's a, there's a point in our lives, right, that um, we just, we just... I don't know if it's call it break or just distance ourselves from people basically maybe because we're trying to like find a balance between life health and whatever or you just move out from one city to another or so back to you how many of your friends can you call on when you're in a fix when you're in a financial financial mess when you are at loggerheads with ideas when you are 
in a in a middle of you know choosing one job or one career over the other how many of your friends can you call on to save you how many of them can you call to come together and you know help you out in that situation do you have five or at least three of them well if you do not i think it's time to cut off some of them or, or a lot of them and then pick up or make new friends really if you do not have friends that call you for business purposes people who you know call you to say girlfriend or boyfriend what do you think about this business idea what do you think about venturing into this you know business what do you think about you know um, taking up this appointment letter at um kpmg should i take this letter from kpmg or i should take that from nta if you have good friends you know if you have good friends that can actually help you out in situations like that well i think that you're you know you're in the right circle but if you do not i think it's time to cut off some friends if all you do with your friends is hang out go to the beach drink drink your life go to club and that's your life you know all all day and all year i think it's not so good i'm not saying it's not good to have friends who you can you know hang out with and stuff but i'm saying that we need you need to you need to make friends you know that help you get to the desired your desired destination in life be purposeful about making friends and don't just vibe with just any type of friends you know because this is year 2020 and people are doing great stuff so i i feel like you shouldn't be left behind don't just be making friends for making friends sake and if you feel like some people have cut you off i feel like you should also move on don't try to force yourself into you know being back i don't try to force yourself to be back with people who do not think about you anymore and um i've been trying to say if you find out how people have cut you off i think you should stop playing the victim and if you're the one that needs to cut people off if you have a lot of human baggage around you i mean this is a new year this is 2020 i think you should do the needful which is cutting them off trust me you would come back <laughs> to thank you for this right so if you think that uh everything i've been saying since is totally wrong well i cannot wait to hear from you if you feel like people who cut people off actually do it from a place of pride not because they change level or not because it just happens naturally right i can't wait to hear from you let's talk together in the comment section and if you're yet to join the family what are you even waiting for Click the subscribe button right away and tell your friends about God Express with Brother. My name is Brother Unua Femi as always. I'm yours. Till I come your way some other time.